Welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with our Norska campaign. So, we've been at it for a while now. We've been dealing with dwarves who have found, unfortunately, little bastards came in and took some land which was not meant for them. But uh, we will deal with that another day. At this point, I am just trying to deal with something else. It sucks that uh, we're going to basically lose some land here because I wanted to this capture this. However, it seems Morkar and... Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. They want to invade it and ra raise it to the ground. So what we're going to do here is... Ask these guys to join war against the dwarves and we're going to send them on another trip. Fortunately, they want more money, it seems. Right, how about we send you somewhere else then? Go deal with the Empire over here. Because unfortunately, you guys are not really what I wanted. Looks like I can betray Chaos, which is weird. Set by the serpent. And let's get some raiding in. And finally, we had an army which is on its way here. So we can keep a defense going up. We will expand once again. But not until we have a nice little foothold. I am very tempted to turn against the the border princess here. She, they don't have anything. I might actually do so. I'm gonna wait and see. Hello, Dwarfies! Right, Altdorf has fallen. It sucks for me because I wanted that land. Trying to get old Dorf, but uh, moving out. The eagle guides me. It would look like chaos does not want let let me get it. So uh, let's wait a little bit, I guess. Little bastards. I am a rune Dwarfies. Smith. Welcome to death. He's going to anyway. I'll get there. Meet <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys have been a fawn at my side, and I need to get rid of you, so please go away. Hey, this works for me. So we'll have to wait a little bit there, but at least we've dealt with that issue. I think now we can actually move our forces down from here. I see the Wood Elves are still standing. Not possible. I refuse. Balthazar will be causing a massive problem. I really wish the Beastmen would be a bit more proficient in their damage abilities. Uh, that's all. Unfortunately, that will make us lose quite a few forces. And I'd rather just wait, get Altdorf and build up some forces. So let's wait a little bit. 
We've got another Chaos Incursion coming in, which is cool. And another one here, too. That's perfect. Let's see what we can do with this, then. Looks like the Empire retreating. And these guys will be coming up to deal some damage towards us here. I'm not surprised. Tribesmen, gather! You have my faith. Understood. But with that, alt of his hours, we have another income boost. We can start building up. So let's deal with this. I am the wanderer. Let us wait a few turns to build that actually, so let's go up here. I eat my enemies. Walk here soon. Let's build up a force. I think that since we have some good units, all trolls and stuff like that, I want to keep the same thing going. So let us get another unit uh, of Marauders. Some great weapons would be great, especially since we don't... We do actually have a lot of armor piercing, but it's, it's poor leadership units, so we need something a little stronger to stand with Frog. <coughs> How are the beastmen with us? Neutral. I don't want to deal with the border princes just yet. I'd rather keep alive for the time being. We're okay in every other place. We just need to keep on going. So how about we just end the turn and see what we can do next. I do want to build up some troops. It just sucks that we can't build up some units. Given the amount of that, we might actually just get rid of this. Because the Chaos Corruption is absolutely beautiful, and I would like to keep that. We can have an army being built here, so that's perfectly fine. Actually, no, because there's income here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, how about we do that then? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that, and we'll start building up a Marauder army from... from Estalia, and we'll move up to... to the mainland, essentially. Fine. Altov's being built up, which is cool, considering that we will get a nice amount of income. Now, we do have to be a bit careful with uh, Balthazar over here, Absolutely. but I don't think he'll be much of a problem. So let's start building up a force. Unfortunately, we will not get all the good stuff, but i rather crappy units to come into effect than anything. And we'll see how much money we actually do have when we get rid of this upkeep situation. Once we have a full stack of army here, we will be able to turn on the border princes and then start working towards destroying the mountains up here. Because these mountains are going to be an issue. And if we can get it, we can get rid of it with Wolfric once we have two armies at Altdorf, we should be much more secure. I travel the world seeking jewels. Today you. No.
Volkmar the Grim, where are you, mate? That's fine. Okay, another build up. And now we can start working on the garrison. I absolutely love that that's happening. Because it shows that they're getting desperate. So let's start building up some troops. Unfortunately, three at a time, but uh, hey, it's better than nothing, isn't it? We'll find out how far our income goes now. His armies are pretty much there. It looks like chaos is spreading a bit, which is okay. What happened to the force down here? Oh, yeah, they got destroyed. So, yeah, I was having a little bit of a hopeful moment there, but uh, that works. That's fine. Interesting. Very interesting. Now possible. Unfortunately, that is a lot of dwarves, and we do have to be very, very careful here. We'll deal with this in a second. What is Given what we have, for some reason he was trying to get into Skaven Blight, it seems. Ah, uh, soon, I hope. So soon. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's build up some defenses and some money, it seems. that. Some growth is good, to be honest. So let's now deal with this. Sack or raise? Right, how about we sack it first? Due to the pure amount of cash there. And now let's deal with this issue, which is going to be massive. Stop that. Lord of the monster Unfortunately, they have come prepared. Disgrace my ancestors. Time for a feeding. Right, I'm going to sacrifice this dude in order to kill Belagar.
they're coming from behind. At least Belagar will die. This is all he's useful for at the moment. I love how Belagar is just waiting. And running, it seems. My fast forward's not working. All right. Let's hope we can be fine here. Right, he's holding. If we can just get one hit, that's all we need. There we go, and now we can retreat. He served his purpose. Oh, that works. Why doesn't that work like that? But it works when I look this way. Almost gone. And I think in order to be safe here, we're going to have to retreat from Talia. It's unfortunate to say the least, but if we can keep the, if we can keep Frog alive, we should be fine. Mind you, he served his purpose. Belagar will now be gone for a few turns. Decisive defeat, no, tactful defeat. Okay, so, one problem is gone, no, apparently no. not, Despoiled. even though Ravage. we did kill him, but, uh, right, never mind. We're going to move back out. Unfortunately, Damn. this town is going to be too strong for us, and we're going to have to be ready. So let's prepare. Rally. Spawn a unit Damn. up here. Some units here. 
We are at a lost spot. This is all we can essentially do at the moment. Let's raid in order to get that sorted. We're okay here. We'll have two armies. We'll get rid of the dwarves from there. That could have gone better. That's fine. We have Frog and another army, and this army at least is being built up. So, we are okay. We just have to, like, panic. But I just want to kill you. No, I don't want a peace treaty. You guys are almost gone, and I know that. However, you're not the target at the moment. Two armies will come down for the Empire lands. Look at that. Somehow he managed to survive. They can come now. They can come all they want. I have armies. And they are ready. And now we've just got a little upgrade too. So let's start building up this. Armor-piercing missiles. Well, we want some of that. Okay. Wolfric, you're fine, mate. We're gonna start dealing with the dwarves there. We have a defense up here, so that's fine for now. The next army will pop up there fairly quickly, so let's first get rid of this issue. Let's get some raid in so we can get some more XP. Where are our Chaos Allies? Dealing damage, I hope. It'd be nice to know what the bloody Beastmen are. Why do you hate the fact that I'm fighting Dwarves? You're supposed to be Beastmen. You're supposed to hate practically everything. The dwarves will stay there for the time being. Right, we've got forces here, so we're okay. Let's start dealing with problems. Oh, apologies about that. Uh, someone knocked at my door and forgot that I was recording. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Uh, okay, so we're cool now. Uh, let's see here. That was just a little mistake. <laughs> Not possible. So, so, yeah, say hello to everyone to George. <laughs> uh, let's do this. We've got some more growth. Unfortunately, we are kind of stuck here. I'm hoping that we can get rid of the Empire fairly quickly and then just focus on the Dwarves and these guys. It is mainly the case of this now, so let's start building some Arlen piercing units because we will need them more. Come from raiding, that's cool. Where's my next quarry? We take no attrition damage here, that's fantastic. 
Right, the dwarves will be coming in mass. We both know this. On the plus side, we do have some forces built up. That I was not expecting. Hopefully we can hold them. Oh no, there's two armies. Okay. That can be a bit of an issue. Right. Go deal with this then. Looks like we are going to lose some land which was not actually planned on. Sneaky, sneaky little border princess. Let's see if we can be sneaky too. The time for talk is over. Make your demands. Nope. All right, we're going to have to do this properly then. I was not ready to lose more land. We have a decent garrison there, so that's fine. Let's hope we can do this before they do too much damage in our cities. I mean, we've got a decent garrison. It's just their numbers which worry me. Bastards. Little bastards. Look at them. Very uniformed army. Very, very uniformed army. Anti-infantry and armor piercing. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna have to try at least. There's no way I can leave Estalia at the moment, considering the fact that we are under siege by dwarves. This can be a massive problem to us. Our army's forced together. Let's see if we can do this. We've got a decent amount of forces. You can really tell I'm playing without mods now because the uh, the uh, the radius camera is so much better. can break one of their forces, we should be fine. Right. 
Empire Knights can can die there. We just have to do damage at this point. I absolutely love mammoths, they can do so much damage. This way. I mean, we're gonna lose, but we might as well lose well. Looks like we're going to have to send Frog up. I'm actually dreading that. quite a bit of damage if we can hunt them down I mean we took out one of pretty much one of their armies the good thing about the uh, Norskans is they can do they can take heavy fire we need to start working down to getting rid of them Unfortunately, they've gotten a city. What we're going to have to do is move this army northward. Build up another force. Choke them out. At least Chaos is destroying the Empire, so we've got a little bit of help there. 
we can see that the Chaos Armies here are moving out. No second, sorry, third attack. So let's hope we can keep this going without any issues. Casualty replenishment will be very good. He's got a good army. And if this city has a mammoth just like the others, yes, that's true. Cool. I can take out two forces. I just can't take out... Uh, I can't take out one. Uh, I can't take them out on a head-to-head, -head, unfortunately. But with this new Chaos Invasion, we should be able to do a lot of damage. And I'm going to take out Karak Norn very, very soon. It's a very back-and-forth thing, and that's understandable considering where we are. Let's just hope we can just keep getting some more bonuses to our income. Yeah, we can now. Despoiled. Very weird. Because what we had less. Enslave the southerners. Why are we building these units? And I kind of want some marauder hunters because they're armor piercing. Savages. That's very weird. Oh yeah, it's because of our raiding. Well, that's fine. I'll lose a bit of income if it means getting our troops back. How about this? No, no peace treaty for you, mate. Great. That went as planned, at least. Tribal fury. Yes. This way. They're going to start building some more troops, which is understandable, obviously. But we've now got that. Let's go and destroy the no. dwarves. I'll challenge. It's not gonna work. I'd rather raid them for a bit then. I refuse such orders. If the beastmen could do a little bit more help, it would be easier, but unfortunately they're practically useless. We're getting some allies coming from there. Another Chaos Invasion has just come in. And that's another two armies. So that's pretty cool. I would like to move Borkil a little bit. But unfortunately, I don't trust the Dwarven incursions at the moment. At least we'll be getting a nice amount of income. We'll be able to field some armies, at least with this raid. Enslave the southerners. The hound compelled. I might bring in the second army and actually use that as a forward fronting force. We could use the three forces and charge in. Oh, look, we can make some more of the champions. Awesome. I mean, with this army, I know we can win. We've got enough to pretty much keep us alive. Hopefully, our allies over here can do some damage. If we can get rid of the Empire by the turn's done, we will be able to be a bit better off. Very expensive, isn't it? I will not obey. Wait a turn. To the four corners. 
Yeah, we're in raiding stance. That's cool. So at least we can actually get some healing done. Chaos is destroying these places. So is the Beastmen. So if we can keep that going. That should be fine. Where are we at here, my little friends? You guys hate the Beastmen. What do you guys think about the Border Princes? That is very weird. And the Wood Elves have a camp. That's cool. Slaughter the sheep. Right, we're going to move these forces up. I'd rather get rid of these guys soon and then start working our way down again. At least the Empire will not be a problem very soon for us. They're holding out, but we're raiding both areas. How are we doing here? Still need a few more turns, but at least we're going to get a nice little income boost now. I don't think they'll attack me through there, so that's fine. Let's move these guys together. It's two armies. We can destroy them with three armies, I'd assume, even though they are building up. We need the Chaos Factions to be destroyed. Chaos? Empire Factions. And we also need the other guys to die too. At least now, we do have a force here. It just worries me because none of these guys have lightning strikes. So we'll have to fight them on head on. But I am willing to sacrifice a few armies if it means destroying these guys. The Empire is really doing a number on these guys. I'm hoping that at least Kazrak or someone will destroy it. Wow, okay, they managed to survive. And that's the Wood Elves gone. guys want to fight I'll have a few armies ready and waiting for you ah look at you smart little bastard building up a second force bud actually It's not going to matter in a few turns time, as long as the dwarves are feeding me money. Right. Beastmen. I don't really require much at this point, other than just you guys doing that, whilst Chaos gets rid of the last of the Empire faction here, and then we can work together to destroy the dwarves and the Border Princes. I hope. They're very, very good. G 
cheeky little bastards. Okay. They're going to keep building, so we can keep them there held up for a little while. They don't actually have a lot. I can take them. This action does not have my consent. Let's see how that goes. These are the last of the Empire factions. They have no money. I travel the world seeking jewels. I'm not going to give you a peace treaty. Military alliance. Yeah, that works for me. Now they're fighting the dwarves. Cool. I will aid you with destroying their bastion. I'll ignore that. It looks like they're waiting. Let's go up here. You what? Stop that. We'll to be fair, I should be getting rid of these guys and actually focusing on getting the ones that uh, are on anti uh, anti armor, but we're okay. <laughs> The dwarves will be mobilizing together. And the good thing is, the empire is practically destroyed now. I don't know where their forces are, and I don't trust it. They're probably trying to come up to Altdorf, but Altdorf is now secure. Our cities there aren't, unfortunately. Does this increase growth? Ah, public order, that's fine. So I'm gonna have him come back now. We can have our forces move together, we should be able to kill them off. The Empire is practically dead now, so let's just be happy about that. Smart. Oh, we got something. Village of the Old World and Marauding Hordes. I guess that's because the Empire is dead. <laughs> yep. Our long campaign is now completed. However, you guys know me. Why would I 
allow a campaign to just end like this? Why? Why would I even do that? You know, I I like a good fight. So we're going to continue. However, we're going to end it here, and when I return, we shall be back and do some more stuff because obviously we still have the book to finish and all that. it's not so much about the book it's more about uh, getting the enemies destroyed I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't done all this book stuff to be honest especially with all the money and all that but uh, I've been busy with dwarves but I shall see you all again soon guys thanks for watching adios